morning, Gary with Homily Design and Build. I brought you over to a different house today because I wanted to show you some structural changes that we're gonna be making to a house that's already been framed because the designer and the client decided to make some changes to this after everything was already completed. So um, this room, which is considered the office uh, on this first level, we're gonna be taking these windows and moving these windows together so that the layout of the room works out a little bit better. In order to do that, you can see that we have a structural beam that carries a second floor load and it's right over the top of this one window. So what we've done is to come in and brace this beam from the first floor all the way down to the basement. And we're going to be taking this header out and expanding that header all the way across so that we can carry that load. So we have to make sure that this beam does not move and the house does not move. So that's why we have the, the bracing here. We'll be taking this LVL out. We'll be taking this header out and we'll be doing one continuous LVL all the way across. And then we'll be able to move the window and we'll be able to remove the bracing that we have in here in order for the room to work out a little bit better. Our second structural change that the client wants to do, we have a cantilevered deck that is the landing for the stairs going to the second floor and we have a structural column that is to be installed at this location right here but they don't want that column they want this to be free floating or cantilevered all the way out so we talked to the structural engineer and what we did was take a beam from this location and brought it all the way through and tied it to this beam the only thing that we still need to do is to weld that beam together so that we can remove this post out and that will make this cantilever without any type of structural support in the middle of the stairwell. On the second floor, there used to be a wall, 22 foot wall that went all the way down this hallway with an opening that matched this round window. The client and the designer decided that they wanted to completely remove this wall so that we could have this swoop ceiling come all the way through. So what we're ending up having to do is to get a 22 foot 10 by 45 pound beam that we'll upset in this location and a flinch plate, which is basically just a half inch piece of steel that will that has been made to follow this curve and we will put all that together and rebuild the wall just underneath this location and it will go from here above so that we can actually open all this up now what we have in here right now kind of looks a little weird but what we've got is just bracing to hold this up until we get the steel beam and the flinch plate installed that'll open up this entire hallway on the second floor.